Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the new concept uh, become uh, in uh, ASP.NET uh, that is the MAUI and uh, this is the first video of the MAUI that is getting started with MAUI tutorials. You can build a uh, Windows form application uh, in with the help of XAML. Uh, you can build a mobile application. Okay, so uh, that, that is the MAUI. So create a new project and uh, the app is the .NET MAUI app C sharp. Okay, so just click to next in the MAUI section. That is the MAUI section and all platform, all languages. MAUI Blazor app and MAUI class library. So .NET MAUI app, just I want to start it here. And the project name is MAUI tutorials. MAUI tutorials and 6.0 long term supports okay just click to the next and create okay so there is the uh, creating new project with the maui app and here is a default project and here we have the first page that is the man page.xml file and the, uh, these are the directories you know very well about the dependencies where your uh, project references are already added and the, also some assemblies are also added and packages also added so here we have a .NET 6.0 uh, 6 Windows 10 uh, Mac Catalyst and iOS Android and in the properties you can see that is the launch setting that is similar with your uh, your file where your uh, configuration is there like uh, if you want to run your project in Windows machine as well if you want to run your win uh, run your project in uh, Android emulator like uh, Pixels 5 so there is the launch settings set, uh, settings that is the properties okay so just convert it into the windows machine now the next thing is the platform where uh, exist android ios mac catalyst titans windows okay so in the android section you can see that there is the resources like that uh, values like that okay so the main program file is uh, that is the app.xml file you know uh, very well uh, in the resources section you can just add uh, like app icons fonts images row i mean to say that extra files like uh, pdf file like uh, uh, excel file like json file splash and the styles are um, existing in the resource section app.xml is actually related to your the first file where you are located uh, like app.xml just I want to change uh, your the first file is uh, rendered in on the windows machine that is the app shell and what is the app shell that is the app shell file and app shell file we have the route uh, that is the man page so just directly uh, run that file that is the man page so here we have the man page file and just go for the run and here we have a movie.program.cs file where your fonts is configured in the later session i will uh, add new fonts in the application so the first file is the man page.xml file and here is your output uh, just after a few seconds you can see and uh, like that like that here we have a scroll view and a vertical stack layout spacing 25 padding 3.0 and here we have a home section uh, that is the navigation stacks and hello click to me and clicked one time click two time three time four time five times like that and event handling is done on your uh, button control like that where is the button yeah button and the clicked event is on counter click and just go for the code section oops just to go for the code section here we have a code section counter plus plus and integer count is zero counter plus plus if count is one then clicked one times otherwise two times semantic screen reader dot announce uh, counter button dot text that is the uh, read the counter uh, values one two three four five okay there is the event handling okay so uh, if you want to change if you want to add another page just 
add movie new item and here we have a .NET movie .sable file and there is the test page okay so if you want to change your first file first navigation that is the new test page okay so just save this and run again in on the windows machine and it will take mm, for few seconds to run the movie second pa uh, test page that actually and the final uh, is deploy on the windows machine here we go welcome to dotnet movie okay so there is the second page now come to the next page that is the uh, movi pages that is the new topic movi pages so uh, just add a new page first of all that is the by default we can add a content page uh, like that content page uh, each are the content page so just add content page demo and just set the first file that is the content page demo content page demo okay so in the content page demo you can see that that is the default uh, first file is the xml file that is the xml route and the second one is the content page and in the content page we have the content page dot uh, like that content page dot resources dot content triggers toolbar items like that if you want to add content page dot content you can just set uh, like that content page dot content here we go and in the content page dot content that is the first one is the vertical stack layout that uh, these are the collections so in the later session i will discuss it in the content page you can see uh, the first uh, is uh, there is the namespaces xmlns there is a namespace uh, which is related to the content page and there is the class file that is the content page demo where you can see in the view section the content page demo and that is inherited from the content page if you are you uh, if you are using flyout pages that uh, class must be inherited with the flyout and if you are using uh, tabbed pages then must to use tabbed pages okay so in the uh, title that is the content page demo and the next one is if you set the background color that is YC blue pages okay so now just save this and run your and on your windows machine okay so this this is the content page the next one is the tab pages just uh, see the example wait for some times and uh, you you can see the output of the content page and here we go so there is the content page demo now uh, the next one is the tabbed pages so just add tabbed pages demo and new item that is demo and tabbed page demo okay in the tabbed page demo must to use tabbed page okay so just save this tabbed pages but tabbed pages is actually inherited with the code that is the tabbed pages okay so just save this and you can see the problem is resolved easily but notice that a tabbed pages is actually uh, hold some tabs like that tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 and all these are tabs actually hold some icons also so uh, here we have and uh, just 
add content uh, in the tabbed pages like that content page you can add in the con uh, you can add content page in the tabbed pages with the title tab 1 with the title tab 2 tab 3 and with the icon source icon image sources dot net board dot svg and here we have uh, your uh, image file in the resource section and images dot net dot board dot svg that is the default file and support also uh, with the svg file provided by microsoft and in the tabbed pages you can see some other properties in the um, in the header section in the header section just you can add bar background color that is green bar text color is white and the selected tab color is red and unselected tab color is orange selected tab color and unselected tab color is actually related to your icon image source only icon image source is changed with the selected tab color and unselected tab colors so uh, just set the first page that is tabbed demo tabbed page demo and here we go to run For the uh, in the tabbed page demo, you can see that three tabs in the page: tab one, tab two, tab three with the icon file. And here we have a navigation bar. And uh, tab one, tab two, and tab three with the uh, you can see that tab two, and you can see that tab three, and tab one, tab two, tab three. But you notice that uh, the image icons are not displayed like that but the color will be changed selected color will be changed but uh, icon file is not visible so here we have tap the page demo and in the icon image source is there dot uh, net board dot svg like that so uh, if you run your uh, project in the android emulator like pixel 5 that you will see the icon image source just click to pixel 5 api 30 android 11.0 api 30 and you will see the output okay on android emulator uh, pixel 5 so you can see that uh, there is the icon file uh, uh, is visible in the uh, uh, in the uh, pixel 5 uh, emulator so that is the selected file that is the red color other is the orange color so here we have so this is the tab to pages you can see uh, in the tab to pages so in the later session i will cover uh, navigation page as well as the uh, other pages like flyout pages so next to see you